good morning and welcome back to the channel. So today I figured we would decorate some of the altered book here that we did yesterday, but I wanted to make sure that I showed you guys what paper line I'm using. This is Darcel by Prima Marketing. And um, I think I've only got one sheet, two sheets. I have two sheets of paper left on the 12 by 12. Um, I did use one from the A4 size, which is, oh, what is the measurement on those? Oh, I don't know because I took the cover off. Oops, because I used the cover actually as, um, as templates. So, oh, there's the size right there. So it's 8.27 inches by 11.69 inches or 21 centimeters by 29.7 centimeters. Um, so anyway, uh, this, like I said, this is called Darcel and it's from Prima Marketing. And I did use the cover of this one as well as, cause I use these as templates as well as the, um, one of the pages out of here. But before we get into that, I wanted to show you guys a happy mail that I received. It was a thank you card. I believe it was from an order. I think I honestly don't know <laughs> because I sent out a, a lot of Christmas cards this past year. And I also sent out, um, I send out a lot of orders. So I can't really keep track of all of them. But it was a thank you uh, because it says very much, very specifically thank you, and um, and it's from Miss Pat Carmody, and I wanted to show you guys because she made this really cute envelope, and inside the envelope is also really really cute. So this is the envelope itself, and it is uh, decoupaged with a napkin, and it's a glassine envelope with some lace trim on the bottom. And then there's this one here, and it's a little, um, I'm not really sure exactly what this is called, but I like it because it's got so many different textures on it. It's got the eyelash trim, it's got a piece of cardboard, um, it's got some lace, uh, it's got this little teeny, tiny, tiny, tiny little foldy thing. And then a flower on top of there and then a couple flowers there but that's actually um as really cool and interesting as this is the thing that caught my eye was when you open it up it's got parchment paper on the inside which is really really cool it just adds so much texture to this little foldy flappy thing and that's why I wanted to show you guys because I am so going to try this out. This is really neat. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys that. And again, that's from Miss Pat. So thank you so much for that. I don't know if you watch the channel. I know that you um, got some goodies from me at some point. <laughs> but um, yeah, thank you for that so much. Uh, I need to make an idea book is what I need to do. Um, and maybe that might be on my next to-do list. I don't know. I have, my to-do list is gargantuously long. Um, so I have to finish this book here. And then I also need to start my design team project, which is um, past. No, it's not past due because it's February, I believe. It's for. Um, and the I've already cut all of these out and I've already inked all of the edges um, and that did take me quite a long time to do so I'm kind of glad that I was able to do that um, basically what I'm going to be doing here is just putting all the pages down and then later either um, offer it my allergies are really bad it's early morning for me well it's not too early it's 10 30 but um my allergies are always all wonky until like after the sun rises and is up in the air and kind of warms the earth a little bit um but anyway uh i've already done a lot of the Kind of the boring work with this if you will i'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit because you're way far zoomed out 
But yeah, when I saw this dark blue like this, I was just like, whoa, I have a paper pad that's perfect for this. Actually, I have a paper collection that's perfect for this because I have so many pages. Are so many different pieces for this particular collection because I've got the 12 by 12. Well, not much of that one left, but I've got the 12 by 12 and I also have the A4 as well as the 4 by 6 and the 3 by 5 journaling cards. So I do have quite a bit of this particular collection. I love Primo. When I buy one, I buy a lot. It's kind of crazy. This is an older collection, though. It's, well, it's not too old. I think it's from uh, 2019, I believe. It might have been from last year. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was from 2019. I wonder if that it will say on the... Uh, cover... Let's see. It says copyright premium marketing. Um, it doesn't say. I mean, I'm sure we could look it up. But it's a beautiful collection. I love the dark, rich colors of this collection. It's just, it's so pretty. And it's a dark, dark navy blue. It does look kind of royal, but then again, so does this right here. And this is a dark navy as well. And like I said, I did like pre-cut all these out. Um, so anyway, how are you guys doing? I know that I ask you guys that a lot. <laughs> I think it's funny. Uh, I haven't looked at the comments um, yet this weekend. Um, well, it's actually not this weekend. It's Monday. But I haven't looked at the comments from this weekend. I've been crazy busy. Um, I was able to put my office back together and put my, um, my shop room back together. It's just, oh my gosh, it was so crazy. Because, I mean, I know that the cleaners came in and you know, cleaned the floors and everything like that. But then I went back and I reclaimed the floors and everything and, um, and trying to do some reorganizing while I'm, you know, putting everything away and oh, it's just craziness. It's so chaotic. And so I don't know if I'm going to put any kind, any kind of additional decorations into the altered book. I haven't decided yet, um, but uh, I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Because I know with the, my last uh, altered book, I put a lot of decoration into it and it got super fat. It's like, whoa. So I don't know if I'm going to put a, a ton of like permanent. I might add like um, some pockets and such like that. But I don't know. Hey, Junior. I also need to go and get my nails redone. They look horrendous. And I don't even know if I'm going to finish this on this video today, but I figured I would, you know, just do a little craft with me video and hang out and chit chat with you guys. I haven't really, I feel like I haven't done that in a while, but I did kind of take a week off for, you know, personal reasons, a little personal leave, if you will. But everything's kind of getting back to normal, I guess. I don't, I don't really know the correct adjective to use there. Because, I mean, what's normal, really? That's funny because we, uh, 
we tease each other all the time about, you know, being normal, not being normal, being weird and such like that. And my kids will be like, mom, you're so weird. I'm like, you're weird. <laughs> and it's not a derogatory thing for us. It's actually a, a compliment for us because we've always been very big on being different. We like to be different. I um, encourage the kids to uh, express their individuality and not try to be uh, cliche or uh, normal, if you will. And I do it like, you know, the whole quotation marks like around normal, because again, what is normal? I mean, normal is being like everything else, right? That's what normal is. And you know, the retrospect of inanimate objects. Um, it follows the regular pattern. But with people, with human beings, it's, it's different because normal follows the pattern of, you know, everyone else. But with humans, people... Humans and people are so vastly different from one another that, you know, what is normal? I got that way, way crooked, which is why I took it up. There we go. That's better. And I did just order some more Fabri-Tac because I have like this much of a bottle left. It's like, whoa, how did that happen? I also ordered some more of the art glitter glue. I did find out if you order the giant uh, 16 ounce bottle, it's really not that bad. Um, so it's $23 per 16 ounce bottle or $13 per eight ounce bottle. And I've always said about, you know, how expensive it is. Better talk is more expensive. It really is because Fabri-Tac even, well, you can do like the 40% off coupons and such like that. I don't know if you can find art glitter glue in the hobby stores. Um, I don't know. I've never looked for it to be honest with you. I've always found it on Amazon. Um, but yeah, Fabri-Tac, unless you use the 50% off coupon or the 40% off coupon, then Fabri-Tac's more expensive. Regular price to regular price. Um, yeah. Because I don't know if there are ever, like, I know there's like 5% five off, five off coupons and 10% off coupons on certain items sometimes through Amazon, but I have no idea if you can find like specific outside coupons to, I don't know. I don't know. I'm saying that weird, but anyway, but yeah, regular price to regular price. Um, Fabri-Tac is more expensive. Fabri-Tac ends up being cheaper because you can use the really big coupons at the hobby stores, Michael's Hobby Lobby, Joanne's, you know, those places. So we were watching Grey's Anatomy last night with them um, because everybody in my family loves Grey's Anatomy. And if you haven't watched that show, I know it's a little intimidating because there's like some 35 billion seasons to it, but it's actually really, really good. It's one of the few se or it's one of the few um, shows that I can watch where it actually makes me cry because the actors are so good. Like, I don't bawl or anything like that, but I definitely get tears in my eyes because I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so sad. And it's like, you know, it's the cases that come in or the situations that happen or whatever, but the actors are just so good. And I heard that there were spinoffs um, for the show. I, I think I heard that there were two spinoffs. I only know of one. Now, I know... Of the other one, I just don't know what it's called. 
It's um so uh spoiler alert if you haven't watched it, it's uh this is much later in the seasons, so mute. Um and it's nothing like drastic or anything, but one of the characters, never mind, I won't spoil it alert. One of the characters is an M uh, EMT. He uh, drives an ambulance and he is a paramedic. And um, I believe the spinoff is of him and his journeys. Like um, the first spinoff that I know of is... Uh, private practice is what it's called. And it's the story of Addison. She is a fetal surgeon. Um, like she is an OB, but she specializes in fetal surgery. And anyway, it follows her and uh, in LA. And... But the second one, I don't know what it's called. And it follows um, a young man. Well, I say a young man, but he's probably, in reality, he's older than me. But um, he uh, follows a man that is a paramedic. And I don't know what it's called, though. So if you guys know what I'm talking about, you know what that show is called. I'd love to know. Um, I haven't watched Private Practice. That's on my to-do list. But then again, like I said, my to-do list is so big. I want to try to get some uh, grab bags available for my Etsy shop uh, because the, um, the grab bags normally do really, really well. And so I want to get some more grab bags going up for the Etsy shop. I want to do um, like textile grab bags, like laces and linens and trims and such like that. Um, because I have so many laces that I haven't even put on the shop yet. And so I'm just like, you know, I think, I think not, I haven't decided yet, but I think I want to do grab bags. You guys should let me know. What would you prefer? Not like, okay, I'm going to go buy this from you. Not like that. But if you had a shop or if you saw a shop like mine, would you rather have the option of the lace or trims by the yard? Or would you rather have a surprise grab bag of a variety of different textiles and such? I think I, I would like both options personally, which I do have um, the yardage, the lace by the yard. I do have that. I'm not going to get rid of that. Um, and I don't think I'm going to sell out of that anytime soon. I probably have thousands of yards of lace available. That's already on my shop at the moment. Because um, I think that's kind of where I started not really i don't know i don't really i think it was napkins where i started my um looking around and shopping for really good deals so i can you know offer those products to you guys i think it was napkins and playing cards oh my gosh i remember the playing cards um I loved find and the playing cards are actually a really big hit on the shop as well. More specifically, I think it's really interesting, but the horse playing cards were crazy. Like I put them up and it was just like, bam, bam, bam. I was like, wow, who would have thunk it? Horse playing cards. It's crazy, right? Oh, I should be getting, uh, today is Monday. I should be getting my new shipment of Stamperia in. So hopefully I can get some of these um, listings that were um, sold out. I can get them restocked. 
oh, I also forgot to tell you guys, um, I'm pretty excited. Uh, I don't know when it's going to get here because I only just now placed my first order yesterday, but I got my wholesale account for Chalbella and very, very excited for that. Um, I will eventually, <laughs> eventually get my Prima account. It's just going to take me a minute. Um, so I actually turned, um, well, I'm in the process of turning my brand, Journey of Crafting, into an LLC which I'm pretty excited for that as well. Um, oh, it's already 20 minutes. Oh, look at that. I'm only like halfway, not even halfway done. Oh my gosh. Um, so we'll do a few more pages while we just sit here and chit chat. Um, ooh, I might be able to put like little tabs or something on them. Hmm. I don't know. Figure something out. So anyway, um, I'm really excited about that. Um, I am in the process of turning Journey of Crafting into an LLC, which is really, really, really cool. Um, and that just makes the business official, obviously. Um, and my business is a federally recognized organization. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I'm really, really, really excited. And I did get do, Dershna, I did do the, um, like, express filing. So normally it would take 30 days to um, get all the paperwork and everything uh, all situated and whatnot but I did the express, so hopefully it will be done. Well, it's supposed to be done within 10 business days. So hopefully by the end of February, because I mean, today is the 8th, so, and February is a super short month, as you guys know. Um, but hopefully by the end of February, I will be officially a federally recognized company. So yay. <laughs> I'm excited for that. I am just, I'm really, really excited. Um, I don't know. I think that with all the craziness that has happened in our lives as of the last, you know, few weeks, it's, it's nice to have some good news. So I'm excited. And I have another Esme order on the way. So I'm really excited about that too. I love shopping with her. She finds like the most gorgeous things. Um, and I was, oh man, I was kicking myself because I set an alarm and everything. And then uh, I don't remember what happened, but something happened and I lost track of time and was like, no. And so I ended up, uh, I'm, she ended up starting late that day anyway which was good because by the time I got back on there and I was like, oh my gosh, it's Friday, Esme. Um, she was still on and I was able to get a few things. So I was excited for that. Um, you guys should see that come in. Uh, it normally, she ships out once a week, I think. Most, a lot of, a lot of shop owners do the whole once or twice a week thing. That way they're not going to the post office every day. Um, but I, I believe she ships out once a week. It might be twice a week. I'm not sure. Um, it's, it really honestly depends on how quickly you pay for your stuff. Cause if you're late on paying for your stuff, well, she's going to be, um, later shipping out your stuff. Um, cause it's not like a shop. It's not like, you know, we get the orders and we fill orders every day. Cause I fill orders every day. Um, 
but I don't fill orders all day. I fill orders every day, if that makes sense. So um, like if I get an order right now, I'm not going to fill it right now. Um, actually, right now is a really bad example because if I got an order right now, as soon as I would be done recording, I would actually fill it because my mail hasn't run yet. And I don't have to go to the post office um, because, uh, well, for one, my mail lady is incredibly cool. Um, she's really, really awesome. But there's another thing is there's a feature on Etsy where you can request a pickup and um, they'll just knock on your door and then they'll pick up all your packages and that's it. All done. So it's really, really easy. Um, I had, I think I've only had to do that a couple times um, because most of my packages fit in my mailbox because I have a ginormous mailbox. Like it's huge. Um, but anyway, most people have like, especially if they're doing giant orders like that, most people have to go to the post office, especially if they have any kind of international. And if you're making that trip, I am not going to lie. I'd be like, I will go once a week. That's it. You missed the payment. Too bad. So sad. I'll go next week. Like that would be me. <laughs> I'm not nice though. Um, but yeah. Um, so hopefully, cause I, I normally try to pay like as soon as I get the invoices, I try to pay. Um, so come out, come out wherever you are. So yeah, anyway, hopefully, hopefully by this time next week, I'll be able to have that video up for you guys to show you what I got. And that's a very large portion of this drawer that's beside me of a bunch of laces and pretty things to play with. Oh, most of them came from Esme. Yep. That or um, I'll get like grab bags or something from other people. Because I like grab bags because it's just a bunch of random stuff. Like um, I had recently got a grab bag of laces and fabric pieces and such from uh, Michelle because she did her um, stock your stash sale. And so I got a bunch of stuff from her then. And I love getting stuff like that because it's like, I don't know why, but you like getting stuff from other people. It's like other people's scraps are so much better than your own scraps. Anybody ever notice that? Oh, but anyway. Um, oh, I'm already at 27 minutes. All right. So we'll go ahead and um, close this up for today. Um, I'll probably finish this up tomorrow and then try to decide whether or not we're going to do um, any kind of additional decorations. I think I do want to do some additional decorations because it's not too fat right now. So that's good. But um, so there's a little bit of room. And I could also like eyelet this and um, put like a tie. So it ties. We could do that too. Hmm. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching and joining me today. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.